At least half the communities don't have access to sanitation facilities, and what that results is people just going to the toilet in public spaces. And when it rains, you know, that's when people get sick. So it's actually a public health issue. What do we mean when we talk about going from participation to partnership? Partnership means that from survey documentation through to implementation, whenever there is a decision-making process, if that decision is limited to government or its officials, it remains nothing more than people participating in government's decisions. Uh, as local governments, I right, would uh, encourage my colleagues to partner with local communities just because as local governments, we exist fundamentally to deliver services to the communities. And therefore, it is very important that the department, that when you are planning, you must involve them into the planning function so they are able to know what they need. If it is to be a partnership, then communities need to be organized, and representatives of these organizations need to be part of the decision making process. The new establishment of relationships and partnerships with the council, we have discovered new ways of handling development, especially in Islam. We have a forum called the Jinja Municipal Development Forum, which is a platform for us to dialogue with the council. If decision making lies only with government, then no matter how good these decisions are, they are probably not right. We are showing even the government that we can, we can, we can play this role, we can construct this sanitation and we can manage them properly. So we are setting up this model to show the government that we communities, we can do this and we can manage it properly. Upgrading through partnership with communities can be difficult, but the alternative is worse. Officials in almost every municipality can tell at least one story of an upgrade that was refused because there was not enough buy-in on the part of the community. The Federation has a different way of doing development activities because we involve the slum dwellers as beneficiaries to 100%. The council, they go through a system which is complicated and time-consuming. A lot of money is wasted through bureaucracy. They select uh, contractors who are, whose main aim is making profits. When it comes to slum upgrading, partnerships with municipal government are often built through community-based enumerations that get the approval of the municipality. Not just approval to gather the information, that's participation, but an agreement that the information that is gathered gets used in the planning and implementation of the upgrading process. That's partnership. This partnership is very important on the ground because surely only one component in the, in the development cannot work. We realize that there are issues that the municipality can handle and the issues that the, the community can handle. For example, identifying challenges in the community. The municipality may not know what is taking place on the ground, but the community knows exactly what they are going through. Savings also builds partnerships. When communities contribute actual financial resources to upgrading their settlements, they become active participants in the process. But again, to move from participation to partnership, these savings have to be accepted as part of policy and used to leverage state funds. When we went into having toilet construction, we had done a survey and we needed the sanitation in one of the settlements in Jinja. But we did not have the funds to start, and since the government did not have also the funds to start by then, the community decided to use its own savings to initiate the project. And thank God this project started with the support from SDI. The project was done in 60 days and we completed it. And as the project gets implemented, power gets shared and solutions get produced jointly. But a partnership is nothing without strong and committed partners. Organized communities have a commitment to transforming our cities by transforming their own settlements. Informal residents in many countries are taking the lead, but they cannot do it alone. They need governments that are also ready to move from participation to partnerships. <laughs>